Welcome to Jerusalem, fellow travelers. We have many visitors in town to celebrate the Feast of the Passover. The temple priests are astonished by one young boy in particular. So, didn't you know your father and I would be frantically searching for you? Why were you searching for me? Didn't you know I'd be in my father's house? child. He was something. Definitely knew his stuff. Yeah, but come on. 
Someone must have put him up to it. He couldn't have known all that on his own. I suppose not. Learned men such as ourselves, no, we know a thing or two. And in no time we will sit in the Sanhedrin. No time at all. <laughs> you are so sure of yourself, but I don't know. It's a pretty big appointment to be put on the council. It's the appointment of a lifetime. Believe me, my friend, the day will come, and sooner than later. Twenty years have passed. Jerusalem is full of turmoil, and the people yearn for the arrival of the long-awaited Messiah. The Sanhedrin council members are growing concerned by rumors of strange teachings and miracles by this Jesus. Who does he think he is? He's just a lowly carpenter's son. My friend, good to see you. And how is the high priest this fine day? This feast is one of my favorites. I hate to see it end. <laughs> Mina makes the finest treats, and I pretend she makes them just for me. Actually, she makes them just for me. <laughs> hmm. Are you going to the temple later to hear Jesus? Yes, I am. My concerns are growing over the so-called Messiah. Yesterday, he caused a great commotion. No doubt you heard about it. Yes, but we have seen many false messiahs come and go. I'm certain he'll be like the rest. I'm not so sure about that. Just last week I heard some of his followers had left him. His time of favor is coming to an end. Caiaphas! Caiaphas! Have you heard? Have you? What? What is this big news? He's a healer from Sarah. Is, oh. is that right? Did you see this happen? Thank you for that very helpful information. Now run along, all of you, and be careful. Interesting news out of the mouths of babes. Hello, friends. Hello, Nicodemus. Please tell us you bring news other than what we have heard today. It depends on what you've heard. I've only heard news of Jesus. Who is this man? Another so-called Messiah, as you said. Then why is everyone following him? Who is this man? Where is he from? What does he want? Why did he come? Never have we heard such preaching. He speaks with authority. Not like our scribes or our teachers. His words are of truth and of peace and of power. What he's done. He can do wonders like no other one. Miracles happen by his hand. The blind are receiving their sight. Is he the one, the Messiah, coming in power and might for this hour? If anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as the scripture has said, streams of water will flow from within him. Surely this is the prophet. He is the Christ. How can the Christ come from Galilee? You heard what they said. Jesus is definitely a problem. The people are divided, Caiaphas. His, his following is shrinking. I don't need this type of trouble. It is our duty to keep the peace. Joseph, 
Nicodemus, I want you to follow him. Uh, Caiaphas, could you assign someone else from the council to this task? Not unless you can give me a good reason why you cannot do this for me. Good. Jesus will be the topic of discussion at our regular council meeting next week. Caiaphas, I trust you, but are you sure he's worth the effort? Yes. Then we will do this for you. <laughs> My friend, do not worry. We'll handle it. Rabbi? <sighs> Forgive the disturbance. We know you're a teacher who has come from God. No one could do the miracles you do if God were not with him. No one can see the kingdom of God unless he is born again. How can a man who is old be born twice? You should not be surprised at me saying this. You must be born again. How can this be? We speak of what we know, and we testify to what we have seen. But still, you people do not accept our testimony. I have spoken to you of earthly things, and you do not believe. How will you believe if I speak of heavenly things? No one has gone into heaven except the one who came from heaven, the Son of Man. Because God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him will not die, but will live forever. This is the verdict. Light has come into the world, but men love darkness instead because their actions were evil. Anyone who does evil hates the light and will not come into the light because he is afraid his evilness will be exposed. But whoever lives in the truth comes into the light so it may be clearly seen what he has done has been done through God. I met a man who was no ordinary man. Everything about him changed everything I am. And there was something in his eyes that made me see. Jesus, I believe, is more than just a simple man. He is more than just a man. He is more than just an ordinary man. He's the one who is the Savior and the Christ. This man who changed my life is more than just a man. So much more. Just a man. I met a man whose voice spoke truth into my night. Words of peace and passion, words of love and light. And there was something in his eyes and in his heart that set this man apart and made me want to follow him he is more than just a man he is more than just an ordinary man he's the one who is the savior and the christ this man who changed my life is more than just a
says my Lord. So this is what it means to be whole again and to know He's so much more. He is more than just a man. He is more than just an woman on the temple grounds. Who but God has the power to forgive? Caiaphas, the crowds are getting rowdier. We need to do what something. Do? Yes. Yes. Gentlemen, please. We have dealt with false prophets in the past. But breaking the law and blasphemy is something that we will not deal with lightly. Right. 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 Uh, something must have detained Joseph and Nicodemus. Nevertheless, it is my opinion that we cannot ignore this situation any longer. The next time Jesus shows his face in the temple, he will be brought to us for questioning. Good idea. Joseph, so nice that you could finally join us. We were just discussing Jesus and how to deal with him. Where is Nicodemus? That's why I was late. I was looking for him. I don't know. Ah, good. Here you are. Jesus has caused a good many problems. Where have you been? You just disappeared. What have you been doing? I was with the master. What? Do you mean Jesus? Excuse me? Friends? Do you have anything new to report? No. Before you two arrived, we decided to bring Jesus in. No one ever spoke the way this man does. What? No one ever spoke the way this man does. So, you are impressed. I don't want any of you being deceived. Do you understand? The mob that follows Jesus knows nothing of the law. There must be a curse on them. Does our law condemn anyone without first hearing him to find out what he is doing? Are you also from Galilee? Enough debate. Jesus is compromising the peace and he is compromising our law. Joseph, I want you to handle this personally. Surely another member of the council. But you are my choice. Bring Jesus here so we can find out who this Messiah really is. All of you are dismissed. Nicodemus, I need a word with you. Please, please, settle so he can speak. If you listen to my teachings, then you are really my disciples. Then you will know the truth, 
and the truth will set you free. How can you say that we will be set free? I tell you the truth. Whoever sins is a slave to sin. Now a slave has no permanent place in the family, but a son belongs to it forever. So if the son sets you free, you are free indeed. to follow him, this most unusual man. Just to catch a glimpse of him, or touch his tender hand, he spoke with all authority, the people stood in awe. This kind of power Jesus had could only come from God. Joseph, Nicodemus, Jesus, he, he, he is? Yes, he is. Uh, Nicodemus, I, I've been concerned about how you've been feeling about this Jesus. Yes, I believe. I believe he is the Messiah. And you? I don't. I can't. I, I don't know. This man is the son of God, Joseph. You heard what Caiaphas and the others said? Yes, and you've heard what Jesus says. But we uphold the law. The facts just don't add up. You mean our facts? This isn't about those supposed facts. This is about truth. What? I talked to Jesus. He gave me a new life. Don't we have a great life? Joseph, you don't have to be afraid. <sighs> Listen to what Jesus said to me. Because God so loved the world, he gave his only son that anyone who believes in him will not die, but will live forever. Just doesn't make sense. 
every one of us for all of our lives has had this idea of what Messiah means. And now he's here. And he's so much more. Jesus has redefined what we thought. And now I know this peace that I've never known before. And I know you feel it too. I have to get back to the council. Caiaphas is expecting Joseph, me. I, don't do it. I have to. Who is this man? Where is he from? What does he want? Why did he come? All of the people adore him. They're hanging on every word. Somehow we have to control him. Or soon we will never be heard from again. Who is this man? Why can't they see? No prophet hails from Galilee. All of the people are turning. They're calling him Master and Lord. Something has got to be done here before we're completely ignored for all time. Listen to reason. There's something you're failing to see. Before us, there lies a solution. This Jesus has given it to me. Messiahs have risen before him. And led many people astray. Let's not be too harsh on these ignorant sheep. It's the shepherd who stands in our way. Nicodemus. Uh, Joseph? Do, do you know where he is? He uh, follows Jesus now. Oh. Well, I'm afraid he is immediately relieved of his duties to this and council. Jesus. And Jesus? Where is Jesus? I... Uh, I couldn't. You couldn't. Why? Why is Jesus not here? Caiaphas, no one ever spoke as this man does. What? I can't shake his teachings. They're so... Joseph, what are you 
doing? I'm sorry, I don't know what to do. I, I don't know what has happened to you. But hear this. The man you are thinking of following is a dead man. Do you understand? Do you? Caiaphas, please. Either you stand with us or you stand outside of us. Joseph. I'm afraid we lose two members of this council in one night. This Jesus will not evade us forever. That I promise. Let's see this blasphemer fall! <laughs> I tell you, if they keep selling, the stones will cry out. Yeah. written my house will be a house of prayer but you have made it a den of robbers Father, I've done a lot of searching this week. I've tried to sort out all that I've seen Jesus do and understand the radical way in which he lives. Lord, I've followed you all my life, but lately I've been confused. You know how I've struggled in my head and in my heart. But I believe Jesus is your son. Father, I've done so many things in wrong ways. I've sought the glory of men and not of you. Forgive me. I want to honor you, not myself. 
I want to be the man that you want me to be. Your son's words have pierced my heart. And I want a new life, starting now. So this is how it feels to be born again, to know Jesus as my Lord. So this is what it means to be whole again, and to know he's so much more. just a man he is more than just an ordinary man he's the one who is the savior and the christ this man who changed my life he is more than just a man an ordinary man he's the one who is the savior and the christ this man who changed my life is more than just a man he is more than just a man yeah. he is more than just a man searching for you all week. I know. I, I, I had to get away to clear my head, talk to God. I'm sorry about before. I was confused. But now I know what you say is true. Jesus is the Messiah. <laughs> all of heaven is rejoicing for you, my friend. <sighs> it has been a long week. Mm. I hope Caiaphas has cooled down by now. I've known him all my life. He can be so... Joseph. Caiaphas had Jesus arrested. What? Apparently one of Jesus' followers led the council straight to him. <laughs> Betrayed by a friend? The council tried Jesus, if you would call it a trial. They beat him and took him to Pilate. To Pilate? Since we have no law that allows us <sighs> to execute a man. Caiaphas, no! Pilate wouldn't do it. He sent everyone to Herod. But Herod wouldn't do it either. Now Jesus is back in Pilate's hands. The council and the crowd are demanding the crucifixion. Caiaphas, why such extremes? We have to hurry, Joseph. We have to try and stop them. Yes, let's go.
Shabaktame. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. I will remember Jesus Christ. I will remember Jesus Christ. I will remember Jesus Sir, I, I am Joseph of Arimathea, come to claim the body of Jesus crucified this day. I have a tomb. I want to take his body there. It is my tomb. All that matters now is that I care for my Savior and my Lord. Thank you. Beautiful and 
What now, my friend? I don't know. We've just wandered around since we buried Jesus. Where do we go? Yes. We've just come from your tomb. Where Jesus is. Yes, I mean, no. The tomb is empty. Jesus is gone. His body has been taken? No, he's risen from the dead, just like you said he was. How do you know this? I saw him. He said my name. We have to go tell the others. <laughs> my Savior, waiting the coming day, Jesus, my Lord. Up from the grave he arose, with a mighty triumph for his foes, he arose a victor from the dark domain, and he lives Friends, we want to thank you again for coming out tonight. We're very glad each and every one of you is here, young and old. But we want you to know that just as Jesus is more than just a man, so this is more than just a play. We all really believe what we're singing about and talking about up here tonight. We hope you do as well. Because the message you're hearing tonight can change your life forever. At one time in my life, I tried to follow all the rules and uphold the law, but I found I couldn't do that in my own strength as a sinner. And then I met Jesus, and he offered me something new, his grace, which is complete. So I made my choice, and I follow Jesus now. And I'm here to tell you that Jesus offers each and every one of you a new life, a life that is not devoid of law, but one in which the law is fulfilled by his love. And he died to give us that love. He was crucified dead and buried. And on the third day, he rose again, the tomb empty, the grave no more. A man who was dead got up and walked, 
And because he was more than just a man, that has made all the difference. Amen? Amen. I know it may seem hard to believe, but hear me. Jesus loves each and every one of you. And his, he died to pay for all your sin and all of mine. His death and resurrection marked the beginning of a whole new era. And all you need to do is believe. Believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Do not make the mistake of trying to decide for yourself what, what will save you or what Messiah means. Trust in Jesus Christ and you will live free no matter what your life looks like now. He is more than just a man. He is the Savior you are looking for.